Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today in this class, we are going to see 4, 5, 6 problem solutions of exercise 8.4. Okay, so all these problems in this exercise will be solved by using midpoint theorem. Okay, na? so midpoint theorem and converse of midpoint theorem and a concept in use chesi manam problems solve chestam. So what is midpoint theorem means in a triangle if this line is the line joining the midpoints okay a line segment joining the midpoint is parallel to the third side and also half of it and converse intente the line drawn through midpoint of one side okay of a triangle and parallel to the other side then it bisects the third side e line then bisect chestundi ante e point midpoint and cheppesanga so, F koda kachitanga midpoint outundi and edi converse. Okay. So, by using these two concepts, we will solve these three problems. In your parallelogram ABCD, EF, E and F are the midpoints of the sides AB and DC. So, E is the midpoint of AB and F is the midpoint of CD. Okay. So, C E ni join chesar, E F ni join chesar and BD is the diagonal. So, we have to show that line segments AF and EC trisect the diagonal BD. So, we have a diagonal BD. So, e BD and a diagonal AF and CE are three equal parts divide. Chest and bisect and two equal parts, trisect and three equal parts. That means DP, PQ and QR. This mood equal and chest is equal. Okay? So, here is problem ni manam easy to solve, chu, but overall ga choose na pudu, it may look clumsy. Okay? So, see, in koncham, koncham the comments lo, enduku English words ekwa use chay sunaru antu naru. So, English windu unte me kostun di ani, I am trying to speak. Okay na? So, nain koda English matla dan ki try chay sunanu. Adi me ko help out tundani matrame. Okay, students. So here, first, manam, e, e problem ni three parts ga divide cheste. First, A, F, C, E ni oka parallelogram ani prove chesta. So this is first part. Next, chesi manamu, E, B, Q, D, P, rendu equal ani prove chayi daniki. E triangle and E rendu triangles ni compare chesta. That is third part. Second part. So, last part lo, a DQC triangle. Leda, another triangle. E, this is this coach. APB is this coach. So, ilane, manam problem ni solve just So, first, uh, just write the given information. So, first, I told you na, this. We will prove this as a parallelogram. So, to prove this as a parallelogram, already AF and CA looks parallel. So, we have to tell about this. We know E and F are the midpoints of AB and AC. So, we can write AE is equals to half AB. Okay. Similarly, CF is also equals to half CD. And they are telling ABCD is a parallelogram. In parallelogram, opposite sides are equal. Kada. Okay. So, so that implies A, B, C, D, Rindu equal I know put E, V, Koda equal I put A, E is equals to C, F. Okay. And these two are parallel. So, A, E parallel to C, F. So, particular case lo manamu, one side equal and parallel I know gaani parallelogram and chepestam. So, therefore, A, E, C, F is a parallelogram. Okay, so parallelogram and approach is So coming to second part, E triangle and this triangle, this call. So in triangles, triangle QEB and or in triangle QEB and triangle DPF. 
dpf so we know this half is equals to half enduku ivu rendu equal kada so halves kuda halves of same thing or equal or halves of equal parts are equal by euclid axiom so be is equals to df it's given okay next we can tell so this angle and this angle or alternate interior angles these two are parallel na so this is a transversal so alternate interior angles so angle qbe is equals to angle pde so alternate interior angles these two are parallel so ikkada uh, koncham confusion em ledhu easy gane untundi so this angle and this angle are alternate and this and this are corresponding right so finally we can say these two are equal na so we can write angle q e b is equals to angle P E D or D E P whatever it is. Okay. So reason since angle Q E B is equals to angle A e C D that E C F okay E C F and that is equals to angle P E D or D E P. So here two angles and the included side or equal so therefore triangle qeb is congruent to triangle dpe by asc okay so these two are congruent aithe manu em prove cheyal anukunnam pillalu dp pq and bq సో అప్రూవ్ చేయాల్సిన వాటిలో టూ పార్ట్స్ మనకి కాంగ్రిగన్ ట్రయాంగిల్స్ లో ఉన్నాయి కదా సో బై సిపిసిటి పిటి ఇస్ ఈక్వల్స్ టు బిక్యూ లెట్ ఇట్ బి వన్ ఇదైతే మనం ప్రూవ్ చేసాం పిడి ఇస్ ఈక్వల్స్ టు బిక్యూ అని ఓకే సో నెక్స్ట్ థర్డ్ పార్ట్ ఏం చెప్తున్నాము డిక్యూసి ట్రయాంగిల్ ఆర్ ఏపిబి ఏదైనా తీసుకోవచ్చు in triangle dqc pf parallel to cq and f is midpoint of cd right so that implies p must be midpoint p must be midpoint of dq okay so midpoint aithe em avutundi these two parts are equal kada so that implies dp is equals to pq dp or pd both the same na so finally from 1 and 2 we can write yeah pd equals to pq equals to bq so this is what we have to prove so finally we can write hence proved fifth problem show that the line segments joining the midpoints of the opposite sides of quadrilateral bisect each other okay so first i think ok quadrilateral undi ఆ క్వార్డినేటర్ మిడ్ పాయింట్స్ ని తీసుకొని మనం జాయిన్ చేసినప్పుడు దీన్ని డయాగ్నస్ బైసెక్ట్ చేస్తాయి అని చెప్పాలి ఓకే సో డయాగ్నస్ బైసెక్ట్ ఈచ్ అదర్ అంటే ప్యారలోగ్రామ్లు కూడా అవుతాయి కదా ఓకే సో సింపుల్గా మనం ఈ మిడ్ పాయింట్స్ లో జాయిన్ చేసిన ఫిగర్ ప్యారలోగ్రామ్ అని చెప్పేస్తే సరిపోతుంది ఓకేనా సో చూడండి ఇక్కడ మెయిన్ దిస్ ఈజ్ డయాగ్నల్ నా సో దిస్ ఈజ్ ప్యారల్ టు దిస్ సో ఇట్ ఈస్ half of in this and same okay and the moon man in chase and color so a luggage is a stamina matter so first right there 
ఇచ్చిన బేసిక్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ అనేది రాసేసాను ఓకే సో నావ్ ఇక్కడ మనకి ఏబిసిడి ఈజ్ ఏ క్వాడిలేటర్ అండ్ దీస్ ఓ మిడ్ పాయింట్స్ సో అట్ మిడ్ పాయింట్స్ని మనం జాయిన్ చేసాం సో ఒకేసారి ఫిగర్లో మీకు కన్ఫ్యూజన్గా ఉంటుందని నేను డ్రా చేయలేదు సో నావ్ దిస్ ఏసి ఈజ్ వన్ డయాగ్నల్ రైట్ అండ్ బీడి ఈజ్ ఆల్సో అనదర్ డయాగ్నల్ ఓకే సో నవ్ ద పిక్చర్ ఈజ్ కంప్లీటెడ్ ఏసీ అండ్ బీడి డయాగ్నల్స్ సో ఏసి అండ్ బీడి ఆర్ డయాగ్నల్స్ ఓకే సో ఇన్ దిస్ ట్రయాంగిల్ ఇన్ ట్రయాంగిల్ ఏబిసి పీక్యూ పారలెల్ టు ఏసి అండ్ పీక్యూ ఆర్ మిడ్ పాయింట్స్ so that implies pq is equals to half ac okay and similarly now we in this triangle in triangle adc sr parallel to ac so that implies sr is equals to half ac okay so from 1 and 2 PQ parallel to SR and PQ is equals to SR. Students, you can stop here. Otherwise, BD ni base chase ko ni. SP and QR koda parallel ani meiru prove chayachu. Leda manam simple gara saitha. Similarly, we can prove SP parallel to QR and SP is equals to QR. See, so two opposite sides are parallel and equal, right? So therefore, from 3 and 4, PQRS is a parallelogram. Why two sides are equal and parallel? So, parallelogram. సో ప్యారలోగ్రామ్లో డయాగ్నల్స్ ఎలా ఉంటాయి బై సెక్ట్ చేస్తాయి సో దాట్ ఇంప్లాయిస్ డయాగ్నల్స్ బై సెక్ట్ ఈచ్ అదర్ ఇన్ పిక్యూఆర్ఎస్ ఓకే సో దాట్స్ వాట్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు ప్రూవ్ సో ఫిగర్లో మీరు మెన్షన్ చేయాలి అంటే జస్ట్ మెన్షన్ విత్ డాటెడ్ లైన్స్ పిక్యూ అండ్ yes sir so therefore p r bisects s q hence proved so the last problem of this chapter a b c is a triangle right angle at c a line through the midpoint m of hypotenuse ab that is m is the midpoint of ab and angle c is 90 and parallel to bc so md ane oka line draw chesaru kada this is parallel to bc intersect ac at d we have to prove these three points so first item manam ichindi rasesamu given in triangle abc angle c 90 m is the midpoint of AB and DM is parallel to BC. So, then that implies D must be midpoint of AC. DM parallel to BC kada midpoint in undi draw chase in a line ka vaddi. By converse of midpoint dira. So, D must be midpoint of AC. So, therefore... So, it's first one and matter. So, therefore, D is midpoint of AC. Okay? First one is completed. Very easy. Ga. M nundi manam draw chesna line dhinik parallel ga undi indi. So, D must be the midpoint. Now, to prove second one. So, we know DM parallel to BC. DM parallel to BC now if ac is transversal ac is transversal 
then corresponding angles are equal na so angle ADM is equals to angle ACB okay so we know or simply C also you can write so okay write angle ADM is equals to angle C so that implies angle ADM what about angle C 90 so angle ADM equals to 90 so that means MD perpendicular to AC only na? so therefore MD perpendicular to AC the second one also completed third one so now we have to prove CM is equals to MA and half in AB okay so C and M is joined in the problem itself it is joined so no need to write so now we will compare here two triangles in triangle ADM and in triangle MDC or CDM okay compare here I am telling D must be the midpoint of AC right midpoint means these two parts are equal only na? so AD is equals to CD it's proved midpoint so now this is 90 so this is also 90 na? linear pair kada. so we can write angle ADM is equals to angle CDM equals to 90 degrees both are equal now in these two triangles one side is common so that is DM or MD so DM is equals to DM common side okay so two sides and one angle SAS so triangle ADM is congruent to triangle CDM by SAS okay so what or say use if they are congregant. Manaka the use of Alikada. So by CPCT corresponding parts of congregant triangles are equal kada. So we can write CM is equals to AM. CM is equals to AM. Okay. We know M is the midpoint of AB. Okay. So what is midpoint and AM is equals to BM is equals to half of in AB only now okay so given m is the midpoint so am is equals to bm that is equals to half a b actually m is the midpoint of a b ane dagra manam adi mention chesunte bond no problem here i am writing okay so m is equals to bm is equals to half a b so that implies we can write CM is equals to AM is equals to half A. This is what we have to prove. Hence proved. So students, these are the solutions of uh, last three problems of exercise 8.4. I think you understand these problems. Students, please like Chandi. So video on the link, chala mandi students ki reach over and me like chala help out on the. So please like this video and please share with your friends and please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching